I think it's high time we addressed body dysmorphia or body dysmorphic disorder. Don't worry, this video will not be complicated, I promise. When you say trauma, people will be imagining the worst, but it's actually in small things. For instance, when I was small, they used to call me Eze Fro, Eze Rewe. Every time I laugh or smile, they will mock my open teeth. So I remember crying to God to please close my teeth. But my mom was always praising my beautiful open teeth. So that phase was even over before it even started. Thank God they did not succeed in breaking me. Otherwise, I don't go do teach job. But it's the same as in front that I'm using to talk to you today. Anything could have been a trauma point. People may have mocked the size and shape of your breast, the sound of your voice, the hair on your chin, your chest or your legs. They may have shamed you for being overweight. Maybe nobody even mocked you, but you saw how other people were getting attention and you're not getting any. So you start to want to look like them. These are examples of trauma. And traumatic experiences in the form of bullying and abuse can lead to negative self-image that triggers body dysmorphia. How do you know you have body dysmorphia? If you're too focused on your physical flaw, obsessing over it, spending hours trying to fix it, or trying too many cosmetic procedures to correct your flaw. If you constantly compare your appearance with that of others and you actively make daily efforts to change your appearance to be like others. If you have a general discontent about how you were created by the creator. If you have intrusive thoughts or your mind is always preoccupied by your physical appearance. If you avoid setting clothes not because of how you feel but because of how it will make you look. If you're exercising excessively or taking supplementation for the purpose of aesthetic improvements. 